Hello everyone, welcome to the Transit Museum. My name is Marie, I'm gonna show you around today. Thank you for joining us virtually. Our Transit Museum is a special place. We're located in a real subway station. Back in 1936, a train called the HH train came here to Court Street Station. The HH train was a shuttle train, which means it only had two stops and it went back and forth. That other stop was just three blocks away from here. So most people decided they could just walk those three blocks. Uh, not very many people were visiting this station. So it closed down after just 10 years in 1946. 30 years later, in 1976, we got to put our museum in here, which is special for us because it means we have real train tracks and real trains that we're gonna get to see. So today, we'll look at some trains from the past, see how they look different from some trains you might ride today or the trains that we use today in New York City. And we're also going to talk about some artwork in the subway um, and how artwork decorates our subway and why we have it. So this train behind me is one of the oldest trains in our collection. Before we get aboard, I'm going to ask you all to use your imaginations with me. So we're going to imagine today is October 27th, 1904. So we can imagine that we're all wearing fancy gloves and hats, people dressed a bit differently in 1904. We're going to imagine that we're used to riding around the city using horses and carriages. Maybe we ride in trolleys on the streets or we ride in trains up high above the ground. But today, October 27th, 1904, is the very first day the subway opens in New York City. So imagine you have never been on the subway before, and neither have your parents or your friends, and we are going to ride in a tunnel underground for the very first time. Think how you might be feeling. So a lot of people were excited to ride this new subway. The subway is going to take us a lot of cool new places, but people were also kind of nervous, even a little bit scared, right? thinking about underground, maybe it's dark and dirty and scary, people didn't know what to expect. So when they were building the subway, they wanted to design it in a way that would make people feel safe. I'm going to show you the first station, which is called City Hall Station. It was the very first station on our first subway line. Let's look at it together and see what you're noticing in this station. You might have noticed that there are chandeliers, fancy lights that hang from the ceiling. There are fancy tiles called Guastavino tiles, which make these arches over the station. There are skylights, so people can see we're not too far under the ground. Right. How do you think you would feel visiting this station? So if you rode the subway on that opening day we were imagining, October 27th, 1904, you would go visit this station probably, see City Hall Station. You would buy a paper ticket that cost five cents, and then you would board a train that looks almost exactly like this train behind me. So we can come aboard this way. Now we're gonna take a minute to look closely all around this train and think what we're noticing. You might have noticed these seats. They feel like a basket to touch and they bounce up and down when you sit on them. You can imagine what it would be like to sit on these seats. These seats are made out of something called rattan. Rattan is a material that comes from a plant, a plant similar to bamboo. Now, a problem with rattan is that it can break pretty easily. Even here in our museum, we see some spots that have gotten broken. You also might have noticed these handholds in our train that can swing around. You might have noticed our ceiling fans above us. Back in 1904, there was no air conditioning like we have on our train today. But they didn't want everyone to be very hot, so they installed these fans. But they could be a bit dangerous since they're just right above our heads. You also might have noticed our exposed light bulbs. Back in 1904, like we were imagining, electricity was a pretty new invention. You probably didn't have it in your house yet. 
So they didn't want to cover the light bulbs on the train up. They kind of wanted to show them off. Thank you for exploring this train with me. I hope you join us at our next stop.